Hi, welcome to Lana's Jubilos. My name is Alba and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this pillow with the mosaic crochet technique. You can find the link to the written pattern with a chart in the description below. Remember that you can find hundreds of crochet, amigurumi and knitting patterns in my website. You can find also the link on the description below. If you are new in this channel, remember to subscribe and click on the bell to receive the notifications of all my new videos. Let's go now with the step by step. To make this pillow of 40 cm per 40 cm, I used 150 grams, that it's like uh, 300 meters of this yarn, Beggy Petit from Casa Sol. I used a 4 mm crochet hook and scissors. Start with a chain 72. In this case I will make a, a small sample, but you have to start with a chain 72. I will make a chain multiple of 8 in my case to make the small sample because this is the multiple of the stitches of this chart. Make a chain of 72 stitches. Once you finish, make a chain 1 and make one single crochet on each chain. One single crochet on each chain. Once you are at the end of the chain, you have to make again one single crochet on each chain on the other side of the chain. Here on the last stitch make another single crochet. And then work on the loops of the other side of the chain, making also a single crochet. One single crochet on each chain to the end. Seventy two single crochet in one side, seventy two single crochet on the other side. Close with a slipper stitch with the first single crochet, and now you have to start working in the round. Place the new color, the color B, and make a chain one. You don't have to cut the previous color, you will use it on the following row. So make the chain 1 with the color B and start working now one single crochet on each single crochet but taking the back loops. One single crochet on each single crochet but once you are but when you are working the mosaic crochet the single crochet is always taking the back loops. This would have to be the row number one, but in, this is the second row of the pillow and you can make the double crochet. So only one single crochet, taking the back loops on each stitch, work on all the stitches, work the single crochet on both sides of the pillow. And once you are at the end, you have to make the, la the, make the last single crochet and Close the row with a slipper stitch with the first single crochet of this row. Now, take the previous color, take the color A and make a chain 1. Now, start 
making their row number two of the chart. In the row number two of the chart, you have to make four single crochet. This is the first stitch. Here you have to make a single crochet. Remember, taking the back loops because you are working the mosaic crochet technique. Four single crochet. One double crochet working the mosaic crochet technique. You have to make the double crochet taking the free loop of the previous row of the color that you are working. Here, take this loop from the bottom to the top and make a double crochet. This is how you have to make a double crochet with the mosaic crochet technique. Is four single crochet, one double crochet. Now, one single crochet. one double crochet and one single crochet this is what you have to repeat to the end on the row number two repeat one more time four single crochet remember taking the back loops one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet and one single crochet once you are at the end of the row you have to finish with one single crochet You don't have to work on this slipper stitch. You have to work the last single crochet on the last stitch of the previous row. Now make the slipper stitch again to close this row. And take again the color B. to make the row number three. To make the row number three, you have to repeat to the end three single crochet, remember to make the single crochet you have to take the back loops Then one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, and one double crochet. This is what you have to repeat to the end of the row number three. Close with a slip stitch. Take again the color A and make the row number four. On the row number four, you have to make three double crochet, One 
one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and one single crochet. This is what you have to repeat to the end of the row number four. Row number five with the color B, three single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet and one double crochet. This is what you have to repeat to the end of the row number five. Row number six, color A, you have to make four single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and one single crochet. Row number seven, color B. One single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochet. one double crochet and two single crochet. This is what you have to repeat to the end of the row number seven. Row number eight, color A, one double crochet one single crochet, one double crochet, and five single crochet. This is what you have to repeat to the end of the row number eight. Row number nine, color B, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three 
three single crochet and one double crochet. This is what you have to repeat to the end of the row number nine. Row number 10, color A, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, three double crochet, and one single crochet. This is what you have to repeat to the row number 10. Row 11, color B, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, Three single crochet, and one double crochet. Row 12, color A, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, and five single crochet. Now you have to start with the row number one again. Remember, on the previous row number one, you only could make one row of single crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochet, one double crochet and two single crochet. This is what you have to repeat to the end of the row number 13. This is the row 13 and this is the row number one of the chart. You have to repeat from the row number one to the row number 12 six times in my case to get the size of the pillow once here you can see the small sample here you can see the shape of the pillow now you have to decide how you will finish the pillow in my case i am working my last row i will stuff the pillow and make one row of slip stitches to close my pillow. You have to, to make the row of slipper stitches, you have to take one loop of one side of the pillow and one loop of the other side of the pillow and make slipper stitch. Repeat the same with the following two stitches, one stitch from one side and one stitch from the other side. In my case, I will take the back loops of both stitches, of both the stitches, and make one slip stitch. And repeat the same, close with slip stitches, taking one 
stitch of one side and one stitch of the other side to finish all the slip stitches and to close all the stitches of the top part of the pillow. And you finished your pillow. Well, that's all. I hope you like it. Remember to subscribe and click on the bell to receive the notifications of my new videos. Remember that you can find the link to the written pattern and the chart of this pillow on the description below. And as always, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.